Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing optical illusion art and this particular drawing is called Paper Cone. So I would like you to gather up some paper, a pencil, a black marker, a ruler, and anything that you think you might like to color it with. Crayons, colored pencils, colored markers, or even just using the pencil you could do shades of gray. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, we are going to do the optical illusion art, and the name of this is Paper Cone. And what you're going to need for this drawing is a ruler, a black marker, and a pencil. The pencil you're going to be using just as a template, like a cheat sheet, of where you're going to lay down color. So we won't use it right away. We're, right away, we're going to be using the ruler and the, and the marker. And you'll need a piece of paper. And you can see that I've got the piece of paper on top of another piece of paper. And this bottom piece of paper is just to protect the table or the drawing board that's below your paper. Because your ruler is going to be making lines with your pen all the way across the paper. So you can see these little black marks. That's where I did a drawing um, to experiment for you guys. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be putting a dot right in the middle of the paper like that. And that dot is a starting point for all your lines. So put your ruler up to that dot and draw a horizontal line all the way across from end to end like that. And then do the same thing from top to bottom. Put your ruler on that dot and go from top to bottom and go right off the page. And then put your pen on that dot and bring your ruler to the pen and draw a diagonal. And try to do it so that it's even, so there's as much space between these two. And the same over here. Bring your, put your pen on that dot and put your ruler to the pen. And then draw another line. Okay, so at this point we have eight lines and we want to put a total of 12. And each, each straight line is two because we're getting, when we put our ruler down, this is a line here and this is a line. So that's one, two. So now we have eight lines on here. This is gonna be nine, 10, okay? And then we're gonna put our pin to that dot and our ruler up to the pin and adjust it so that it's even. And now we have 11, 12. So now we have 12 lines on there. And now <clears throat> we're going to be making a series of curved lines in each one of these sections, but every other section, the curve is gonna go in a di different direction. So let's just start with this one right here. I'm gonna do curves that look like a U. So I'm gonna start here and that's gonna be my first one. So that's a curve that's like a, like a U. So I'm gonna do four of those down. That's one, two, three, four. And I'm skipping every other section. So this is not gonna have the U's, but this is. So there's one, two, three, four. Skip this one and do this one. One, two, three, four. And then not that one, but this one. Curve like a U, three, four. I'm gonna skip this one and do this one. One, two, three, four. Not this one, but this one. We're gonna do use one, two, three, four. Okay, so we've, we've drawn in all the U curves and now we're gonna make the opposite shape curve where it curves up. And we're going to go from this point of that, of that U curve to that point of that U curve. And I'll show you what I mean. So you're gonna curve it up. You're gonna curve up 
each from point to point. So there's a point to that point. Put your pin there and go curve up and then meet it. And you're going from that point to that point and meet it. And meet it. Then you turn the paper and you come to an empty one and you're curving up. Curve up. Curve up. Curve up. Curve, curve up. And then come to an empty one and curve up. So you go from point to point, curve up, curve up, curve up. And come to the empty one and go from point to point, curve up, curve up, curve up, curve up. And then come to an empty one, curve up, curve up, curve up, curve up. Come to the last empty one, you're doing a curve up, curve up, curve up, curve up. Now you can already see that this is somewhat of an optical illusion and it really changes when you color it. So if you squint your eyes and look at it, really squint, you can kind of see that it looks like it's sort of moving a little bit. So how you color this, there's a trick that's kind of a good thing to do to start out. Now, if you feel okay doing it without doing this, that's perfectly fine. You could do a whole bunch of these and never get tired of doing them. Start out with one with just one section, like let's do this section right here. So these are the curve ups. So I'm gonna start by putting a little X right above the curve up, and I'm skipping every other one. So there's one, I'm not gonna do that one, I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna put an X. Not this one, but this one, I'm gonna put an X. Okay, so now I'm gonna, only where it's curving up am I gonna put an X. So here's an X, there's a curve up, here's a curve up, there's a curve up, there's a curve up, there's a curve up. So here, so it's every other one. This one, not that one, this one. Not that one, this one. And I'm skipping this one. And here's a curve up, so I'm gonna put an X. Not that one, but this one, X. Not this one, but that one. So it's every other one. So here's a curve up, put an X. Not and In this section, I'm not putting one there. I'm gonna skip every other section. So not this one, not that one, this one, not that one, this one. And then I come to the next section that has the curve up. I'm gonna put a little X there. And then it's the same thing. This one, not this one, this one. So it's every other one, not this one, but this one. Okay, so all the X's now are in the every other section of the curve up. Now the sections that have the, the U's where it curves down, you wanna do the same, only you wanna do the opposite. So since this, since these curve ups have the X's, you don't want one next door to it. You want to put one here. And in this section, it will be every other one, just like you did those. So this one, not this one, but this one. And see, it's almost like even in the row, it's not, it's going to be every other one. So this U doesn't have one, now every other one. So now come to the section with the U's. We didn't put it in that one so it's going to go in this one not that one but this one and see why it would ha it's really helpful to get a pencil and make a little mark so here's the u we don't put it in the first u we're going to put it in the second u and not this one but that one so now we're on this last section no actually we've got two more this section so here's the u we're not putting it in the first u we're going to put it in the second u curve up Okay, now, very, we have this one and that one to do. So we didn't put it in this one, we're gonna put it in this one. Not that one, but this one. Then go to the one that we haven't done, very last one we haven't done. We're not putting it in this one, we're putting in that one, not that one, and this one. So you, you can see when you go around, so this section right here, it's every other one has an X in it. That has an X, this doesn't. That has an X, this doesn't. That has an X, this doesn't, etc. When you go to the second layer, same thing. This has an X, that one doesn't. This one has an X, that one doesn't, all the way around. So we, that's how you can check it. 
And if it seems like you've made a mistake, just erase your pencil and then um, put uh, correct it and put the right X in. But it's basically every other one has an X in it. And the reason that is so important is because that is, that's where you're gonna be putting your color. Now you can color these any way you want. Um, I've done one sample here, which I did two shades of purple. So here it is, okay? Now, you can really see that optical illusion. I did two different shades of purple, and so I'll show you. So this dark, this where this X is here is the dark purple. And so I did all of these, the curve, um, the curve, you know, the curve up, I did in one color with just the X's. So in this case, I'm not gonna color this whole thing because I think you guys get it, but in this case, I would do all the X's on this row in this dark purple. And I'm using, I'm using colored marker, but you can use, the, you can use pencils, crayons, um, anything but markers are just fast for this, just to explain this. So I'm gonna do every other one, just like I put the X's in, so wherever there's an X on this every other one is where the color goes with this dark purple. Now, what I did on this is every other one I did a different color purple. So this next one I did a lighter color purple and I'm gonna only do it where the X is. See that X? So that's where and I'm leaving the top of this line, of this section, white. And this would be the color, right? I don't wanna take up too much time here, but I wanna show you. Okay. So that's how I did this. So I did every other X and it would be the same. I would come over here and do these. So that's how this, every other X. So this was a color, oh, the same color. This was the same color, right? So that's how you do this. So I hope that made sense and I hope you have fun. You can see that if you, you could absolutely go crazy with this. I'll show you one that just this little part that I did, just so you could see if you did, instead of doing, leaving the white, white, you could put a color in. Like you could do all these, like a light shade of orange, a dark shade of orange, you know, or you could do it all in pencil and you could do shading. There's just so much you could do with this. You could add more lines. You could leave off, instead of doing 12 lines, you could do 10 lines. But the main thing is try to meet these points. And, um, you know, there's, I've even, you know, you can even do this, instead of doing these straight lines, you can do curvy lines and meet them. So there's all kinds of fun things to do with this optical illusion. Anyway, I hope that that was fun for you. And if you want me to do this again, maybe in a different way, um, let me know. Okay, thank you.